Hey everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. I'm going to take you through uh, building and deploying a package using an EXE file. There's a lot of different, you know, types of files out there, you know, MSIs, MSUs. EXEs are a beast unto themselves. They're not super hard, but they take a little bit of effort because, you know, the vendor can do whatever they want with parameters. I've grabbed Notepad++ um, to use as a demonstration. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna build a new package, okay? Let's obviously name this Notepad++, okay? And then we're gonna grab our steps. We're gonna grab the install step because we are going to install. Now, I put this on my desktop. So there it is, Notepad++ installer. And you notice when you select that right here, this is what's going to be run on the end user's machine. Now, if I deploy this right now, it's not gonna work, okay? And here's why, we haven't added any silent parameters. It is gonna pop up, you know, do you wanna install this? Whatever the, the, the normal, if you run this by hand questions, they're gonna pop up for nobody to see and eventually they're gonna time out. So we need to tell it what, it what needs to be done. How do we install it silently? So any of these EXEs, you're gonna have to go out and do a little Google Foo. So we'll pull up Google Foo and getting better at typing or copying and pasting. Silently install Notepad++. Right, so how to guide and install Notepad++ comes up. It appears to be from uh, right here. These guys uh, install HQ. And if you look at this, right, scanning through it really quick, you'll notice to enter the following command at the command line, your installer with a front slash capital S. Okay, you can test this. In fact, we probably could test this right now. Um, and it will install um, locally on a machine. So let's do that. Let's uh, CMD, let's run this as, a, as an administrator. We'll go to our desktop, CMD. Oh, this isn't Linux. Um, users. Maybe I shouldn't try and do this, users. Desktop. Okay, do a little DIR on this. There's Notepad plus plus NPP tab front slash S. It should at this point install silently, and we should have Notepad plus plus when this is done. Okay, no errors came up. Nothing. It's a good sign. If this ran, we should now be able to see Notepad plus plus has been installed. There it is. All right, so we know that that works. So let's go and put that, all our parameters go on the parameter line here, front slash capital S. Again, it's gonna run there, okay? We'll call this uh, install NPP, Notepad++. We will save this, okay? And then to deploy it, it's this simple. Deploy once, let's go send this to the machine, Bugs Bunny. My machines have been named after Looney Tunes. We give that an OK, deploy now. It's now gonna connect, run that, un that uninstall, the install string with the silent parameter front slash s, says it's successful. Okay, output was a return code of zero, which is successful. And now Notepad++ has been installed on the machine Bugs Bunny. So again, the takeaway from this, anytime you do an EXE, you need the silent parameters. So, you know, Google, you know, silently installed name of the software. Vendor's always the best source to go after the, the silent parameters because obviously they're the ones that wrote it. So, and that should help you out in regards to installing and deploying EXEs. Thanks for watching. I'm Lexington.